Ugh, guys, why does my cat do cat things? I can't believe that my cat would do cat stuff. Ugh, what a bad and naughty little cat. Why would you do cat things, cat? What we're about to get into, I believe if you do this, you should be banned from ever owning a cat, let alone an animal, first and foremost, okay? I love my little critters. One of them is sleeping in the pouch over there and the other one loves sleeping under the table. I care about them more than my own life. I have had fantasies about people coming to take them away and me just, yeah, um, Addison Travis, who's a TikToker with over 300,000 followers, has made made the very poor, immoral, unethical decision to declaw her cat. And the way that she went about this situation just has me in awe. How could somebody get a cat and not understand the main part of a cat's being? Is their claws. She has been bragging about why she declawed her cat. This isn't a grown cat, by the way. This is a full kitten. And now the kitten is never going to have the awesome experience to get out the claws and absolutely rip everything to shreds. I love that for them. Slay. Doing no research on an animal that you're wanting to get is pretty ignorant and silly to say the very least. Before we watch any of the videos that she posted, people were literally telling her, hey, Addison, don't declaw the cat. Because it's not only in the absolute worst interest ever for the cat to have their claws taken away from them, you're taking a huge part of their life away. This can even be considered as a I live in Australia. I am Australian. It is illegal to declaw your cat here in Australia because it is seen as such. Addison was eventually able to find a very money hungry vet, must I say, because normally vets are not going to do this for you. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of money or not, they will not do it. But some people put money over an animal's life. She did this because her cat was scratching up her furniture. Babe, why did you get a cat to begin with? Why would you do this? You are so selfish. It is absolutely insane. She doesn't even see a single thing wrong with what she's doing. So let, let I can't, I can't believe it. My kitten. Shut up. My kitten. My kitten. I am praying for that little baby's life. It's not your kitten. It is my kitten. And yeah, it's like, I get it. It's like me getting my fingers or my toenails cut off. But I don't claw furniture. I Why is she talking like this, bro? Okay, yeah, because human versus cats, Um, humans don't tend to do that. They, they don't tend to rip up furniture or scratch at the toilet paper or claw your favorite leather couch. It's probably because you're a human and that's an animal. You're a human and that's a cat. That's in their natural nature to do. But you clearly wouldn't know that because you selfishly went ahead, got a kitten just to have the cute little kitten experience. I don't mess crap up. Two or three. If it was that bad, like if it was freaking deathly, I can promise that a vet wouldn't even give you the option of the. <laughs> yeah, you would actually be surprised. A lot of people put money over the health and well being of humans and of animals too. Are you that dense in the brain? Like, whenever we're talking about an animal, particularly a cat being declawed, most veterinarians will not do it. But there are some dodgy ones out there, unfortunately, that are are going to put money over the health and well-being of a cat, of an animal. It even goes as far as to when you go over to different countries to go ahead and get some sort of dangerous procedure on yourself, you notice how most surgeons won't do that dangerous procedure, but you have to go elsewhere to get it. Yeah, it's the same type of deal here. Idiot! Walling a cat, so it's not that bad. It is actually that bad, but we'll get into why it is that bad in a moment. And this one's really gonna set some of y'all on freaking fire i have a cat at home and uh, that thing's been declawed and it is living its best freaking life you 
You make me sick, Addison Travis. No wonder you've put your account on private. You are the one who got up on your podium over on TikTok and told us all this information. You have two declawed cats that breaks my heart for those kitties. I, bro, nah, don't cry, don't cry. I'm not trying to be a wuss puss, okay? But I love animals so much and especially cats because, you know, my very first cat was my soul cat. He was my everything. And now I have two beautiful babies that I just love and adore to pieces. Like, I don't mean to get really emotional right now, but Susie, when I got her, I was, dude, I was going through it this year. And when I got her, it, it was like at the right time and she's helped me out so much and taking care of her has made me want to take care of myself. So the fact that you would do this to cats sickens me. I doubt that that cat is living its best life. I heard from this chick over on TikTok. If I can find her TikTok again, I will insert it. But basically she said that when she was uh, getting a cat, I don't know if she was adopting it or whatever, but basically they said, don't declaw the cat because it's basically like for humans, if you were to walk on your knuckles for the rest of your life, that would be so painful and so depressing. But your cat doesn't know any other way because clearly you take their lives away from when they are kittens. And that is wow. Wow, dude. Just because I'm getting my cat declawed doesn't mean that I'm abusing Yeah, you are. It. My cat is living a perfectly fine life. My kitten, whatever it is. This comment. You don't even know what your animal is. Okay. It says, I will come get her. You won't come get her. I promise you will not be getting my kitten. I hope that kitten gets taken away from you and your other cat. They do not deserve this miserable life. Because it's my kitten and I'm going to do as I please with my kitten. Ain't that right? Like, look nope. at this. At the end of the day, y'all's comments are not going to get to me on the way that you think. I but it has gotten to you because your account is private. Okay, this is something that generally most people can agree on. It, you know, and I'm saying most for the fact that there are definitely people out there like Addison who have declawed their cat due to selfish reasons. I don't care if you want a cat. You have to understand that there are sacrifices that you have to make when owning an animal. This this chair is ripped up, okay? Now, I'm going to buy another chair if it gets to that point where I can't sit on it anymore, where it's like smelly or something like that, okay? If it's truly gotten to that point where I can't be on it, I'ma buy another chair. My cats, they claw up my bed. Do I care? No. Because I knew exactly what I was getting into when I got these animals. I'm living in their world. They're not living in mine. I'm living in their world. And that is exactly how I treat my cats. I'm abusing my kitten or I'm hurting my kitten. It's my kitten and my kitten's fine. So mind your own business. Peace out. I, I get the whole like mind your own business thing, but you are the one who posted this. Basically making these cats lives so miserable that all they know is just to sit around and do basically Cool. Because you want to have nice furniture. Like, it's my cat and I can do whatever I want. Like, I really want to have nice furniture. <laughs> so... Why is it bad to declaw a cat? When I adopted my kittens, Susie and Ken, on the form where you sign a bunch of stuff about the obligations and what is expected of you when you adopt these kittens, it said in that form, under no circumstances should you go ahead and get your cat declawed, not only because it's illegal here in Australia, but if there is a medical emergency with these cats, such as if they have cancer in the bone that's eating away at the tissue surrounding the bone, then they will have to declaw the cat. If there is, let's just say, a potential risk of nail bed infections just completely taking over, then to retract that, they're going to have to get declawed. Now, these are very, very rare circumstances. And so, like, like cats are naturally just, they're very territorial and because it's in their natural nature to just really scratch at anything and everything, you probably wonder sometimes why 
do they necessarily do that? And it's because they're leaving sort of like these visual and invisible messages within, you know, them scratching on stuff, right? So with the invisible scratches, they're basically putting their scent and their pheromones into, let's just say my chair, right? So this chair is basically Susie's chair. My partner's chair has been also scratched up by Ken and that's Ken's chair. This is not my chair anymore since I got Susie. It's Susie's chair. My partner's chair isn't his anymore. It's Ken's chair and that is the way it's going to be. There are things that you can do to combat having, you know, very nice furniture, I guess, being clawed at by your cats. I necessarily don't believe in it. I believe in my cats can go crazy on whatever they want because if they are good cats and they don't wake me up during the night, that is awesome. The only thing that I don't like them doing is destroying the toilet paper when I leave it on the toilet holder. So you know what I've done? I've put it where they can't reach it. There's <laughs> so, so many things that you can do to combat this. There are certain wraps that you can get for your couches to put on to stop the declawing. Now, if you are going to invest in good quality furniture, then you should probably invest in good quality protection for that. Furthermore, you can also trim your cat's nails. I have only trimmed Susie's just a little bit because she is going through a huge growth spurt. And when she was getting at my feet the other day, she sliced it. So I was like, all right, bubs, let's trim them a little bit, but declawing, no, 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 no. Because cat's nails, they grow quite quickly. Invest in multiple uh, scratching posts and play things for them. So if you don't want to do that and you don't want to do any of this, don't get a cat, don't get animals, just don't do it. Just save yourself the money, the time, the upsetness over having a piece of furniture destroyed. It really just isn't worth it in the end if you hold more value in materialistic items instead of actual living creatures that deserve love and respect respect. So with all of that being said, this was a really hard one to get through. I know guys, it was, it was terrible. I could not believe my eyes when I saw this come across my For You page. And so with all of that being said, thank you everybody so much for your time today. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.